So I'm going to show you how you can connect it using SmartBerry app. Without wasting much of your time, let's get down to business. The first thing to do here is to switch on your Bluetooth, your data and location. So make sure you switch on your Bluetooth, your data and your location. So these three things are needed so that it will sync up S9 smartwatch next thing to do here is to download smartberry app which you can see here i already have mine here so when you download it and install it make sure you agree to the notes and this is going to bring you to the welcome to smartberry all right here you have to log in but before you go ahead please make sure you also switch on the bluetooth of your s19 smartwatch okay here i'm going to swipe up and you can see my Bluetooth icon here. I'm going to toggle that on so that it will sync up with my smart watch. Now I've done that. I'm going to go here and register. So if you have not registered, you have to select G icon here and it's going to bring up your Gmail. So you can use that, select that and log in. And as you can see, it says login successful. Now the next thing to do here, if you have registered, you are going to come to this point too. Now at the health page, you can see you have a dashboard here that is the health and here is for the data workout you go to the data you are going to see your previous historical data there and workout if you want to do some workout and here is the profile so if you want to connect it up you come to the profile option here and select search device you select this and it's going to search for bluetooth device around it as you can see that's located for smartwatches here and the one that i'm going to pick is this watch 7 because that is the name of my watch so yours may be s19 if yours is s19 you are going to see s19 or watch 7 there now you can see it is connected now select the find device to confirm it is truly your smart watch as you can see it is ringing that means it is truly connected the next thing i'm going to share with you is some other features that you can do on this smart watch via the app now select these additional settings you are going to see message reminder so you can get whatsapp notification come to this message reminder and make sure you have your whatsapp reminder toggle on like this as you can see here now you can toggle on others if you want to receive other messages but make sure whatsapp is toggle on and select determine and it will show you certain sussex now you can go back and that is how to get whatsapp notification on your smart watch you get it once you have notification from your phone in case you want to change the time okay let's change it to a physical one like this you can toggle this off it's going to change it to 12 hours and that is how to do it as you can see it is still on 12 hours so if it is not working just select this synchronization time system or system time and it's going to sync up as you can see we are now 12 45 which is still the right 12 hours other ones that I'm going to show you is your phone book. If you want to sync your phone book to your smartwatch and you want to see all your contacts there, you can come here and select this option that shows uh, contact or human. And you are going to see add, import, delete. If you want to import them, you can just select import and it's going to import your contact details to your smartwatch. Okay. I think there's a limit to that either 20 or 10 contacts on the watch so you can use your favorite or the ones that you call most of the time which you can see as my has just opened here so hard it up and if you want to add it manually use the hard option here and save the number and that is it so if you want to use the die setting just select die and you are going to see your die page come up select die more and it's going to take you to the dies that you can change it to as you can see there are a lot of them here you can scroll and pick which one fancies you or which one interests you let me select one of it and you can select get the dial select get the dial and it's going to start syncing up to your watch as you can see it is showing here now we have our new watch face as you can see it looks nice and also if you want to customize it to your own watch face now you go to DIY die, select that and you are going to see this DIY die page come up. Now you can select your image and it's going to take you to your gallery. So when you are done with picking your image, you are going to select this option up here, tick it and select complete down here. 
and you are going to see that your image will come up this way now if you want to pinch out you can pinch out if you want to zoom in you can zoom in but i'm okay with it this way so that i can put the timing by this side so when you're okay and satisfied select this tick option up here and you can see it here now you can also change the color of your font here by selecting this color template here and i'm going to change it to black or yellow or whatever color that you want and you are okay with that you can also move this date here if you want to move it you can move it down here and select this tick option up here if you are okay with that now if you want to remove some of the components up there in this place like the time you can remove it if you want it to be removed you can remove it like now i want to remove the step counter i'm going to come here and select hide and it's going to hide the step counter if i want to remove the date i can come here and remove date or if i want to put something else i can put it there too now if i still want to change the text color i can change it here as you can see it is black and if i want to change to yellow or other color i think this is okay now once you are satisfied with this select the apply option here and it's going to start syncing up to your smart watch as you can see it is syncing up and that is how to change your watch face dial now you can see we have our new watch face and this is looking beautiful so that is how to change your dial if you want to change it and if you have any question please drop it down there in the comment section and i'll reply you as soon as possible peace